Well, it's that time again. We're back to episode two of our Doors devlog. In the last video, Gears Data Pack commented saying that you can detect right clicks every tick using Ender Eyes, as long as your map doesn't have a stronghold. Now, this seemed like a great idea for a better replacement for my keys and possibly a more accurate loading bar. Although when I had done it, I encountered some problems. So supposedly whenever I right click, it shall appear in the scoreboard. So I'm currently holding and it's only detecting one. So now in my development world, there are no strongholds in this world. So when I right click, nothing appears on the scoreboard and it bobs up and down. Now I do fix this later in the video, so stick around to find out how. All right, so the first item I want to do today is the vitamins. Very easy to do. All I have to do is just create a couple of circular shapes, color it, that's it. Okay, that is a very nice looking model. Alright, so now if I were to give myself custom model data characteristic 102. Nope, something has gone wrong. Alright, I think I found the issue. Too many commas. Sure enough, here is the new vitamins. I already think I finished it, and all I had to do was just connect a carrot on a stick detection to a timer with speed. So now if I right click, I get speed, and yeah, that seems to be about it. So because of the feature of changing your sneak height, it also includes venting you from jumping. So I decided to test this while going up the stairs and using vitamins, because if you go far enough away from the shelter that prevents you from jumping, it despawns. What? Speaking of which, you may have noticed that I've been almost lazily doing the items, such as it's still called Carrot on a Stick. It has a subpar display down here, and sometimes the item that you're holding has been lazily done, such as when you're holding it. This one I actually spent a lot more effort into doing, and that was because my original intent was to use different animations for the player using animated Jabba, but after multiple complications with the old and new anime Java update, I decided that it couldn't really be done. So my plan is to fix the display of all the other items while you're holding it in third person and in first person. But I'm not going to change the displays in here because the inventory system is going to be completely overhauled and it's going to use an entirely different system for displaying, similar to the original Doors game. So because I had the plan of changing the 1.5 sneak height to one block tall, I thought that crawling didn't look as good as an actual sneak. And also, I wanted the player to see their body when they looked down, similar to doors. So my solution was to use an animated Java body, but it provided so many problems that I couldn't use it. But my plan was always to use animated Java as well for the items. So now I have a pretty low budget flame, but I am very bad at pixel art, so... Probably until later, this is the best that it's going to be. Wow, it, <laughs> it literally perfectly matches. That is awesome. All right, so after a decent amount of testing, I think I've managed to get an animation for the lighter working. You can just turn it on and off. Pretty satisfying. Now I gotta do this for the flashlight and then the candle. So here's an end result of the items that I had animated. So the lighter, basically you can just turn it on and off. And then with the flashlight, it flicks on and off. And also, it turns on. To make those animations possible, I set the player's attack speed to a large negative number so that the animations could play. But that also made it so that there is now instant swapping between items. I mean, it's not optimal, but then again, where, where's my... Oh yeah, I, I probably need to fix that actually. It's realistic to how you do it in third person. Dang, that is a lot better looking. I like that. So next up on the list of items is the candle. So I managed to get the candle in game and here it is. It actually looks pretty good. I also gave it a nice little display when you're holding it and I think it turned out really well. I've also created two different levels for the candle height just as the wax amount goes down. 
And I also have it for the lights out versions because when monsters come, the candle will go out. All right, candle test. Something's already amiss. I forgot to set to load and tick. So that does seem to work. So if I monsters here, okay, that actually seems to work mighty fine. So the next step to the candle was to add sounds. So the two sounds that play is when you start to hold it and when the candle goes out when it runs out of wax. <sighs> Since when do I type can candy die? Not candle die, candy die. This is like this isn't like grade three. Like what am I thinking when I type that? All right, let's see if it makes any noise. Sick, it works. All it was was just a typo. So finally, when it runs out of wax, it will make a noise. Oh, that noise is freaky. I don't like that at all. Now, I plan on doing the crucifix next. Shouldn't be too difficult. So we just reload texture. Well, it does protect you from dying. Problem solved. We'll get back to that later, because there are currently no monsters to use the crucifix on. The rest of the items I need to do are the books and papers from room 50, the shake light, the skeleton key, and the lock pick. I won't be doing the books and papers in the item videos, because I am planning on doing it during the door 50 video. So let's get to adding the shake light. So I'm starting to realize that I don't even think our plans were to add the rooms in the first place, so I don't know why I just made the entirety of Shake Light, or why it's already ray casting. That is also a mystery. Oh, problem solved. I don't have any more light. This is not the Shake Light. Why do I have the Shake Light? Why do I have light? Problem solved. Problem's not solved. It should not be glowing. What is happening? Okay, I have no more light. And now I can just like shake it to gain more light. See, so yeah, now we got a very dim shake light. Rightfully so, because apparently it can't even stop screeches because it's so dark. Next, I'm going to fix the issue with lock spawning in different directions. So then I can work on the lockpick and skeleton key. Later. Alright, supposedly the skeleton key should now be in game. Uh no. Much later. Oh, there it is. Uh it is a tad low. Oh yeah, that's better. Alright, so it probably now means I'm gonna need to rewrite how the doors work entirely. Much, much later. Uh. Two hours later. Oh, found the issue. Seems to work perfectly fine. We just thought the door was on the wrong angle, but... Yep, the key was the issue. And this works great, finally! That actually wasn't too hard. It's going to be super easy now to code the lockpick. Alright, lockpick test. Let's see if this works. Mostly, we are getting there. Alright, after doing a bit of tweaking, I got the lock picks. So basically, it also gives something in the offhand just for a bit of extra effect, let's say. And I think this looks a lot better this way rather than holding the two parts of the lock pick in the same hand. Yeah, and it also should work on these doors if I... So now we have a lock and I hold right click. And it works! We are now able to use the lock pick and open the door. Alright, seems like the... First animation is working. Now to test for the lock pick. All right, it looks all right. So if I hold, it works. So now if I hold, all right, sick. We got all the animations. All right, so I've added a bit of effect to the lock so that whenever you get close, it shows you which lock you are about to pick. So if I hold, place the animation, and it unlocks, and I'm able to pass through. So now that the lock picks are finished, 
I am all done every single item for Roblox doors. So here's a quick image on what actually needs to be done for doors. So I'd say we're about 15% of the way there after two episodes. I'll be publishing a showcase next week because I'll be on vacation and I won't be able to work on this. So thanks for watching.